Hi everybody, welcome back to Colouring Kids. Today I'm going to be doing my completed pages video for April. These are probably the videos that I most look forward to uh, to make because they're so fun and, I, um, and I'm really excited because I have a lot to show you for this month. Um, because I had my Easter holiday from the 5th to the 23rd of April, I had quite a while to colour. Um, not, you know, every every single second. I was busy on some days. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to have a bit of extra time to colour and I've noticed this week I've literally got no colouring done. I didn't really get much done last week, um, obviously because I'm back at school and things and I actually noticed um, the, the difference in how much I was colouring. So let's just get started. So the first book is 100 Hugs. Really, I'm really upset. I, I've only done one page in this and I did this towards the end of March. And I think it's because, I don't know why, because these are so simple to do. Um, you know, if I'm watching a TV show or something, I can just get one of these done. But I think it's because I've been working on other things. I didn't then want to start something else. Um, but the only page that I've done in here, take the post off without me ripping the page, would be good, um, is uh, these elves. Um, and I've used colours that I wouldn't have really use much in other pages which is why this book's really nice because I can experiment with using different colours. Um, this Tuscan colour here I would never have used in other things. All this dark blue I don't really use them um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I tried to keep the limited palette with the little bit of yellow down here um, and then the flower in her hair. I tried to um, use the same types of colours on the belt and everything, I use blue, purple and then the green so yeah I really like how it turned out and again this is just another example of the fact that you can colour in this paper if you work at it. Okay next, this might be a bit of a surprise, I actually did one in this travelling around the world candy colouring book, I'd only done one other page back in September, um, this one, but I have done another page, an eastery one, so I don't think anyone's seen this, but this is a Russian inspired page, so it shouldn't really say, it says Russian here, but it should say Russia, but oh well. Um, so what I did was I searched up what these were, this was, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what it is now, this is like the Russian Easter cake, and this is something to do with... Um, Easter time or something like that for um, people in Russia um, but I, I found out what colours they were and I coloured them and then I coloured the flag and then I took the colours from the flag and basically coloured everything else so the candle and the pussy willow matched the, the white or the slightly grey colour um, then the blue and the red I did blue blue slash grey for lots of things um, and then the red I mostly did pink so I did search up some Fabergé eggs and you they were really brightly coloured, like all of them were brightly coloured um, but I decided to go with a palette of red, yellow and blue kind of like the primary colours but I switched them up so I had the rosy beige side of the pink then I had the, the poppy pink up here and um, then kind of normalish pink and then I had the bright blue here, the muted blue. So this was all Prisma colours I think. Um, yeah and weirdly for me I actually used some metallic um, gel pen which I never use in colouring books. So it's really nice to experiment with this. I outlined them all and did little embellishments and I'm really really happy with how this turned out. I never, you know, if I use gel pen, I use white gel pen or glitter. So I didn't use any glitter on this page, but I did use the metallic and the white. So that's that one. Um, I wasn't going to include these, but uh, one of my lovely subscribers, Fraser, asked if I could include um, these mandalas. Now, for me, this was just marker colouring. This was um, no shading. It was just stuff that I wanted to do when I had a spare moment but I kind of just wanted to colour and I didn't want to um, do things with detail in them. So I did three of these. I did two of them during the um, holiday um, because I'd just been doing detailed stuff and 
pencil work and I wanted to use markers because I never use them. Um, so this is a double sided book but I've decided to just work on the ones on the right side unless there's a one I really really want to do on the left side but I have allowed myself to let them bleed through. So for all of these I've used a mixture of Bic markers, Sharpie markers, <clears throat> metallic gel pen, metallic Sharpie um, and gel pen and that's neon and glitter gel pen. So this was the first one I did as you can see very you know very simple but actually it was very relaxing and I liked it so I've used the silver metallic Signo I've used a metallic purple some gold Signo um, some neon pink as well so that was fun oops then I did this one you might have seen this in a stream not a stream sorry um, my vlog that I did if you would like more of those, please let me know. Um, again, this was, you might not be able to see all of the glitter accents, but we have the metallic gel pen, blue glitter, I don't think you can see, I'm really sorry about that. Oh no, you may be able to see. Um, orange and yellow accents. Uh, and yeah, I again really enjoyed that one, going for more of a tropical theme on that one. And then this one, which I recently just did the other day, literally on... Saturday or Sunday? Either Saturday or Sunday. Um, again, same thing. Um, and yeah, I like this one. And this was a slightly lighter palette than the first one that I did. But these ones are just really simple. And for me, I don't class them as the best thing I've ever done. But I kind of look back on them as being something that I just did. And that I'm actually, you know, that... It would just be a book that I have, you know, even if I go out the lines, it's just meant to be fun. Sorry if the camera just shook there. Uh, it's just meant to be fun, so I don't really mind if it doesn't, you know, if there's no shading or anything like that. I just, yeah, quite enjoyed those. Um, for exact, for, you know, when exams come up, I think they'll be really useful. I have a whip in Timeless Beauty Special, uh, the Colouring Heaven one. This is all of the Momo Girl um, artwork. And this was from Susie, who sent it to me last week for Happy Mail. Um, and I've started the first page. Now, I've only done her face, but I've written down all of the colours that I used. This was with the Holbeins. And I followed Sammy's tutorial on how to do um, the skin on this exact page. Uh, and I've written the method down and everything like that. So I'm going to come back to this and finish up her skin. Um, I might follow the hair that Sammy did, but I'm not sure. I might do my own stuff, but I'm, I'm actually really like how it's turned out. I think the definition and her face is, a, is quite good. Um, and for any of you who don't know, the first time I tried skin, um, I did it in Daydreams, but I had to take the page out because I didn't realize with my electric eraser that the metal then scraped against the paper took off the surface of some of the paper by her nose and then I couldn't go over it with the pencil and it looked terrible, I'm not joking, I literally ripped through the paper so I just I just took it out, I just had to so um, it looked fine but I just haven't had really great experience experiences with it so it was really thoughtful of Susie to oh there's, I've put paper by this, that's why it's really thoughtful of Susie to send me this book so that I can practice my skin tones because um, I think when I get more comfortable with it, especially with these realistic pictures, it will be great for my future colouring. I finished an Eastery page in Sagarok Sagna. This was a really quick one, I think I did it in an evening. And this was with all my budget pencils, so there were no Prismacolors here, this uh, no Faber-Castell Polychromus. This was all um, Faber-Castell Eco pencils and Faber-Castell Classic, and I think it turned out great for budget pencils and it just proves that you can do stuff with um, the inexpensive pencils um, I I actually I like how because they're a bit harder they lay down um, they're quite smooth um, and for a budget for budget pencils they are great so I'd really really recommend the Faber-Castell Eco pencils and the classics especially the classics because the colours in that those are great um, but yeah, I just put some white gel pen over the top um, and it literally took no time at all um, and it was really enjoyable. So there's that one. 
I completed a forever whip in Enchanted Forest and I'm really proud of myself for doing this. Um, this was this was started back in September and I had never gone back to it and then I decided to. So I finished the chest page. Um, I, I had only done the chest um, and then I went in and finished all of these berries and the conkers and then I added a pastel background and then used my electric rubber to erase some of the dots just like um, I've seen Sammy do and a couple of other people and I really like the way it turns out and I'm really proud that I've finished it because I thought I would never come back to it so I'm really happy with how that's turned out um, and the only other one I've done in here is the one following Peter Hewitt which I've which is this is my second attempt now um, but yeah, with this, I had, I think I just used Faber, I, sorry, I just used Faber-Castell pencils. Um, I think I used Sand Bar Brown from the Prismal Colour. I think I used a couple of the Prismal Colours, but overall it was basically just um, oil pencils, which work really well on this paper. I love this ivory paper. I wish Joanna Bass had used it more in her in her books. I mean like Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and all the flowers they have slightly off-white paper but not as yellowy as this and I love it and um, the thing is with this book I don't really like the images here like past the skull I'm not a big fan of those pages but I love all of these pages before the before the skull so I think I hopefully will come back to this soon. I did an Easter picture in Botanicum. This was my first proper page uh, with the Holbeins uh, when I got them. I think I got them two weeks ago now. Um, and it was the Easter Bunny. And I love how it turned out for my first attempt with the Holbeins. Uh, I had, well, I, I already had the 12 sets, so I knew how they worked, but actually blending Holbein, 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 instead of a Holbein into Prismacolor or Holbein into um, Faber Castell. It was really nice to actually see how it worked with just using solely that brand. Um, so I just used it. I didn't use anything else. I did use a blender pencil on some of it and it worked so well. Uh, I like how the fur came out on the rabbit. I like the colours that I used. I didn't really use my swatches. I just went by what the colour looked like and hoped for the best really. So I think that turned out quite well. I've put uh, my Wink of Stella and my clear glitter stardust pen on the butterfly, um, white gel pen, uh, yeah, I really really like it, especially the crocuses, I like the folds in the crocuses and how that turned out, so yeah, overall I'm really happy with this one. There's quite a lot of different books in this one, this um this month. I completed two from Schema Tiged or Nightfall by Maria Troll. Um, you will have seen both of them, I think. Um, so the first one I did, I completed while we were away, right at the beginning of the holiday. Um, this was a whip since uh, from December. All I had left was all of the leaves and the stalks of the Sorry, all I had done was the tops of the mushrooms and these purpley blue flowers and then I needed to do everything else. But to be honest, it didn't take very long. All I did when we were away was these little creatures here and then the butterfly. That was it. So I put a Gern Wink of Stella and my clear glitter star stardust on those and my white gel pen. And yeah, I... D I I do like how this one turned out, and the paper in this is amazing. So when her new book, Flora and Fauna, comes out, I'm not going to get it. Um, I'm not going to get it in the um, Swedish edition like I did with Botanicum, because the paper is so much thinner, and I absolutely love the thick paper in the Dutch editions, so I'm just going to wait. Now, if you can see the difference here, that this is Botanicum and that's Schematis. You can just see the difference in the paper quality, and it's the same amount of pages, I think, so... Yeah, I'm just going to wait until June for the Dutch edition. And the other one, which I finished on stream, this is one of my first-ish streams. Um, all I had done, I think, was the the bunny um, and 
a couple of other things but I'm still contemplating whether to put white gel pen on the flowers on the dots but I think I'm going to leave it because I really really like them um, and yeah I just I really like it um, again I put glitter oh gosh I'm not going to be able to show you because the light isn't in the right place um, you're probably not going to be able to see I'm really sorry anyway I again put wink of Stella and my clay glitter stardust pen see I can see it but you probably can't that's really annoying sorry um, but yeah I really really like this one and I prefer the black background pages as well I've found with um, Maria Chaw's books so there are my two pages from that I completed two pages from Dream Reefs now technically the anemone wreath one um, I completed right at the end of March but I did my video a bit early last month so I hadn't done the actual anemone flowers so this is it finished so you basically saw it finished but you hadn't seen these purple flowers and I love them I used um, one of my Holbeins my you know the wisteria one that comes in the 12 set um, and then my Faber Castells just the classics and the ecos I think and then I use the Caran d'Ache full stick blender because they blend it really really nicely on this paper again it's a black background and I love it uh, the only places I put glitter again were on the butterflies I'm really sorry you're not going to be able to see can I I'm really sorry I don't think you're going to be able to see oh you can on that one but yeah, that's that one. And then I also finished Vivian her room, which took ages. I finally finished this when I was away last weekend. Um, and yeah, let's just say it took longer than it needed to. And because it was such a busy page, I'm not fully happy with the colour palette, just because there was, there was so much. So I didn't really know what to do. So... I just did it and yeah I'm still happy with it so the yellow table here I wouldn't have done really if because I don't I didn't really know what I was doing with this page because it was so detailed the bed I like with the purples and the pinks that match the chair uh, the green carpet matches which you know is okay again this, um, rosy beige color the yellow it's fine you know I, I like the overall outcome of this page. I love the curtains because it does um, make it look as if it's see-through because it's got the little bit of blue. If you would like a tutorial on how to do this, the thing is, I don't have anything else with curtains and I'm pretty sure. Um, unless I can find a... Unless there's a page in here, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not, but... I really liked the way um, the curtains turned out. Yeah, there isn't. Um, so I would have to find a picture of curtains. But yeah, I like how this one turned out. I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on with this one and do it in order or whether I will skip. So um, yeah, we will see with that one. Um, I'm going to show Fantastic Zoo last just because I've got loads and loads and loads of pictures done in that one so I'm going to show you World of Flowers first I've actually got through these pretty quickly which is good because I know some people don't like really 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 long videos um, and also it takes ages to upload so I don't want it super long but this will be fairly long anyway you will have seen me colour all of the um, non-green bits on this page on a stream and then I coloured everything else and it didn't take me long at all after I had uh, when I was onto the green it didn't take very long but I love how it turned out and then I did a blue pastel background and white gel pen and glitter on the there we go on the butterflies was there only one butterfly oh my gosh there was only one butterfly okay yep anyone my favorite favorite flowers um, in um, on this page are these ones I love the way I shaded uh, shaded them 
and then oh yeah i'm really thrilled with them um again if you would like a tutorial on how i color flowers um and things like that please let me know because i could try and replicate that if there's any tutorials or videos in general you would like to see please let me know next i did this four seasons one um this one was meant to be done a while ago but it never did and i'm really really happy that i didn't do it then because i'm just just i'm just really happy that i took the time to think about my colour palettes properly because I love how it turned out and I think if I hadn't have thought about it it wouldn't have sorry that's a notification uh, it wouldn't have turned out in the way that I wanted it to so this is my spring um, spring one so what I did first was I coloured all of the backgrounds. So I had green for spring, yellow for summer, you know, trying to replicate a sun. Then we have the uh, kind of tan colour for autumn and then the really, really light blue for winter. Um, so yeah, I love the colours that I chose for this. This was meant to be quite, uh, meant to be quite bright. So the bright purple versus the more muted and dark purple. Um, and yeah, I really, really like it. Um, and I added little dots of white gel pen in the background too. Again, I love these purple flowers. This kind of darker colour is a bit more bright as well. Um, these are a bit brighter. These are quite similar, these two, but spring and summer, you can kind of tell. This one I had a bit of a, a mishap with. I had to... You can't really tell. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but these were originally blue a kind of muted blue slate blue color in the prisma color and then i showed it to my mum and she's like oh you know it looks great like the shading and everything's great but the blue just looks a bit odd on its own in this um so she said why don't you change it to the same colors as these flowers so i did and you can kind of you can kind of see a tiny bit of blue if you're really really close up but i managed to erase it pretty well because it was you know as shaded as this and then i rubbed it out so it took a, quite a lot of rubbing out but it worked luckily and then we have the winter one which has more gel pen than the rest these big dots were made with a big chunky chalk marker have i got it here yeah a big uni chalk marker um, which has a like, quite a thick nib. It's not as opaque as um, it's not as opaque as the Poscas or the Unibol Signo, but that's not a very good example. But it's quite thick, as you can see there, and I like it for things like that. So that was that page, and then we have the glittery butterfly in the middle. Then I did this purple flower page to um, match the other side and what I wanted to do was emulate the same colours that I used here, here. So I knew I wanted these to be purpley blue um, and obviously these flowers were pink so and these were purple so I thought well I'll have purple butterflies and purple flowers here and then I'll have pink flowers and pink but butterflies here. So I've got pinky, peachy butterflies to match those flowers. The greens are almost the same and then what I did was I just took the same blues that I used up here for these and then the same purples. So they're very similar in terms of the style um, but different obviously in the colours. I'm just going to um, put you back a bit. And then in one day I think, it, literally in an afternoon, I did this page. Same sorts of colours. I think I need to get into the habit of being a bit more adventurous with my colour palettes because these are very similar. But that's the colour palette that I like, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, this literally didn't take much time at all. I just did a very faint line just slightly away from the, um, the line of the glass um, with the blue. And yeah, I really, really like this. I love um, these little uh, pink flowers here. And again, we've got glittery butterflies. And the little mushrooms, so cute. Uh, but yeah, this was mainly Prisma colours and my usual pencils. This was one of the first that I did. This was really, really quick. You would have seen this if you saw my World of Flowers flip through. 
Um, 40% completed, I think it must be about 50% completed now, but I don't know. Um, this was a really simple colour palette of pink, peachy colours, purple and blue, with the brown and then this slightly more turquoisey blue for the little accent flowers. Um, I've got glitter on the butterflies, and then you might not be able to see, and I did say this in my 40% completed flip through, I don't think you can see, but that makes it even worse. I'm just going to move the light. Okay, I, I don't think you can see, but there are little circles of neon pastel. So I think it's orange and pink. Uh, they're not great because, well, they're really, really good, but they're not great in this light. So if you can see them, then great, but it's better if you see it in real life, but obviously you won't be able to. Um, let me just bring that up. Yeah, that was a quick, fun one. This is the whip that I'm working on, and I mentioned that I wanted to be more adventurous with colour palettes. This is me being adventurous. So, I, um, I'm trying a new colour palette that I would not normally do, which is orange and yellow for, the, for most of it. So, the main colour palette is going to be yellow, pink, orange and purple. No blue no green. I'm just going to stick to those for this ribbon page and as you can see I've done all of the orange flowers and then these flowers are yellow but with little um, uh, what's it called? Like the little ribbony flicks of the pink first and then the pinks in the centre and I really really like it and I haven't used a blender pencil at all. I have used a dry cotton bud and just gone over it and I'll show you this Thing. I'm really really happy with what I've well not discovered but I've done so I stuck three cotton buds inside a extender so just undo the extender there's three cotton buds here that I've just stuck in and so that it's easier to hold and then what I do is I just go over the area that I'm trying to um, trying to blend and you can see it's a bit mucky but I really really like it and it's working well for me so this is this page uh, so far and lastly I did this page whilst I was away um, so this one all I had done on the stream that I did was some of the lily pads and a couple of I think I did this big flower and I finished everything else off so these lily pads were three of the colours from my 12 set of Holbeins anyway and then these flowers were the Faber-Castell classics um, and then everything else was Holbein so this was when I did get my Holbeins um, and everything was that apart from the background which was uh, two Prisma colours but yeah I, I love it and again this is kind of my second proper page with uh, whole binds and I've got a little bit of glitter on that koi fish there with the white gel pen but really really happy with this one I don't use these greeny type colours enough um, especially in these watery scenes so I thought that would be a nice uh, way to use them and finally these are all of the pages that I've done in Fantastic Zoo uh, you will notice when I go through these I'm going to be a bit quicker just because for the main part, the colour palette's the same in all of them, apart from the actual animal. So, let's just go through these. The first one I did was the chipmunk. Um, same colour palette as usual, and coloured him with some white gel pen, and then the brown and flesh colours for the background. I also did the little turtle down here. Uh, that didn't take very long, although I had done this at school when I just had a spare moment um, but then it took a while for me to come back to the page okay next I did a rabbit and this was a different colour palette to the one in Botanicum and the one in um, Schematiste so this is cool greys and the ones that I did before were French grey so I'm um, even though there's all bunnies they're different colour palettes uh, so this one was 
cool grey colours with my Faber Castell Classics and Ecos. This was all Classics and Ecos, even the, um, yeah, sorry, uh, apart from my original colour palette, of course. Um, and then I just did um, some neon pink and blue, blue, what, <laughs> grey pastel in the background. And then... Here with the Aardvark, I love this one, uh, the Aardvark was Holbein, I think I used about six or seven different colours with the kind of light Tuscany red colour for the background. This was my most recent one. A double page spread, which I did um, how long ago, like two, two weeks ago. Uh, love this one, you may have seen it on the, oh, why do I, I literally was just about to say stream again, and I thought, no, it's not a stream, the vlog that I did. Um, I had already had the colour palette figured out for the turtle before, so this page was really nice, because I already knew what colours I was using for the most part. Uh, this one's my favourite, obviously, because it's the biggest, and you can see it clearly, you know, all of the different colours. And then, as you go down, you have the tiny, tiny one, but... I really enjoyed doing all of the detail actually, um, this was a very fun one and then I have the brown and the green as usual which again you can't see very well but love that one. Then similarly I did another turtle because there are lots of turtles in this book. Um, so we have the box turtle. Box turtles were quite a few different colours so I thought well I'm just going to do the sandy colour mixed with the brown and the orange um, and then I came out with this. The only thing that obviously isn't true to the box turtle colours are the little flowers coloured in pink, but I like it. And it was, again, a really, really simple one with just the little circles of pastel in the background. I did an ostrich, which matches the my kiwi now, which I'm happy about. This one took a bit longer. I had literally just done the house and a couple of the things up here at school, and then I had to do the whole thing. And this was Holbein, was it? Was it? Um, I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this was Holbein. I'm pretty sure. If it's not Holbein, then I'm confused. <laughs> it was either Holbein or my usual Prisma colours and Faber Castells, but I can't remember whether I did it before I got the pen new pencils. Um, either, either one. Sorry, I can't remember. Um, but I think it was a mixture of about seven or eight colours, and then, yeah, I just did it with some white gel pen and everything. And it matches with my Kiwi, which I'm really happy about, so yeah, it's that one. The aquarium one you will have seen as I was finishing it for part of my stream with my schema tige rabbit. Um, I literally just had to do the pastel background and then a few of the fish. This didn't take long at all and I love how it turned out. And obviously it's a double page spread and it was literally so simple to do for a double page spread so that was fun. This one I've only just started. I literally uh, was working on this for a couple of minutes yesterday. Um, on the bubbles. This is going to be a long, 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 long project, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I love the style anyway, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, and I think these flower fish are mainly bright poppy pinks and oranges and purples and blues, so for me this is going to be quite fun experimenting with the colour palette and seeing where I want to use the different colours. Um, and I love I have loved colouring the fish in here so far, so I'm looking forward to doing this one. I'll probably do lots of the details first, but we'll see. And then, the first one that I did, but weirdly it's the last one that I'm showing you, um, is the seahorse. And I did this on my first ever stream, not the whole thing, I just did a few of the flowers and things like that. Um, and Anna colours along with me for that stream, and then she emailed me the picture, and it's lovely. Um, and I really like how this one turned out. Again, the seahorse was all Faber Castell Classics and Ecos. Um, but it's just really fun doing these sorts of pictures. They're just quite simple. I can't wait to do the jellyfish. If you would like to see a flip through of everything that I've done in this book so far, please let me know. 
because I can do it just like the um, Bod of Flowers one. I will do it once I've coloured a few new pictures though because I don't want um, to just do a flip through now because you've seen all of the pictures. So I'll, I would wait probably about a week or two until I'd done a couple more pictures. Let me know if you would like that because it's something that I might do if you're interested. So yeah, that's everything that I've done. You can see I have coloured in quite a few different books. And the pile's going to get too high now, and you won't be able to see all of the, the books that I'm putting on top. But yeah, um, I hope you have enjoyed this monster video. Um, I've really, really enjoyed making it. I love these videos so much. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. I just want to mention, I know I just said I'll see you in my next video, um, but I just want to mention and say thank you so much for over 250 subscribers. I'll be doing a giveaway at 300, so if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and also, um, I would just like to say thank you for all of the support on the video, my last Completed Pages video. I think it's had over 500 views, which is just amazing for me um i think it's my most viewed video but yeah i just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for the support on my channel i love it so much and i can't believe it's come this far already so yes i will i'm going to sign off now and i will see you in my next video bye everyone <laughs>